This is a 500 watt electric scooter motor and it weighs around 4000 grams. And this drone motor, which is also rated as 500 watts, only weighs around 200 grams. Two motors with the same power rating, but each built to do completely different things. The scooter motor for example is designed to deliver high torque at low RPM, while the drone motor is designed for applications that require high RPM with low torque. But would it be possible to increase the top speed of an electric scooter by adding one or more drone motors? And if so, by how much will they increase the top speed? Let me know your prediction in the comments while I tell you about the sponsor of today's video, PCBWay.com. The go-to place for high quality PCBs and manufacturing. Whether you're working on a DIY project or a professional build, PCBWay.com offers reliable, affordable and fast services. Find out how they drive innovation by providing high quality manufacturing solutions for projects like this and many others, including yours, at PCBWay.com and bring your ideas to life today. To find out if your prediction is right, we need to look at more than just the power specifications of the motors. Because this tractor for example has more horsepower than a Ford Shelby GT500. But the Ford has a top speed of over 180 miles an hour while the tractor barely reaches 25. And this is similar to the motors we are comparing. The scooter has a top speed of 15 miles an hour and a wheel diameter of 8 inches. This means that at top speed the wheel spins at around 600 rpm. But the drone motor almost reaches 5000 rpm. And this causes a little problem. Because if we were to run an 8 inch wheel at 5000 rpm, the scooter would go faster than 100 miles an hour. So to reduce the speed to a more acceptable level, I designed and printed some custom gears. And because accelerating from a standstill will require the most amount of power, I want to use the scooter's motor to accelerate to 50 miles an hour as usual. And once up to speed, activate the drone motors for that extra boost. To minimize the chance of the motors overheating on the first test, I want to gradually increase the boost by changing the gear ratio after each successful test run. And to be able to use the same motor mount for all tests, I designed the mounting holes as slots, so it can easily be adjusted for the different gears we are about to try. With the motors in place and the gears mounted, the last thing we need to do is connect the electronics before we can start testing. And the electronics consist of two electronic speed controllers, or ESCs for short, and an Arduino to convert the throttle's analog signal into a digital signal for the ESCs. To power the electronics, we need a battery voltage between 11 and 15 volts. But the scooter's battery has a voltage when fully charged of around 45 volts. So directly connecting the new electronics isn't an option. But because the battery pack is made up of multiple 3.7 volt cells, which are all connected in series, we are able to tap into different voltages, including the voltage we need. And just in case you are looking for batteries for your project, make sure you check out batteryhookup.com, because it's the place to go if you're looking for high quality, affordable and sustainable batteries. Ok, let's see if everything works as expected. Something. Ok. It turned out the problem was that one motor was turning clockwise and the other counterclockwise. Luckily, this problem was quickly solved by simply swapping two motor wires. Let's first do a quick lap to see if the speed of 50 miles an hour, according to the scooter's specifications, is correct. And to get an accurate reading, I disconnected the motor wires for this run because I wasn't sure if them working as generators when not being used would increase the rotational friction or not. And that's 40 miles an hour. Close enough. We'll start with the highest gear ratio, which, if my calculations are correct, should only slightly increase the top speed. But we'll see, let's go. And that's the top speed of 18 miles an hour. A little bit more than the 3 miles an hour extra I expected, so not bad at all. And the motors are still cold. So time to crank up the speed. Let's quickly change gears and do another level to see how far we can take it.
22 miles an hour. En de motors? Yeah, they're starting to get a little warm now. But let's see if we can top this. miles an hour and judging by that sound I think that's all we're gonna get today after a quick inspection it turned out that the large gear had come loose and one of the bolts was completely missing so the conclusion can you boost an electric scooter with brushless drone motors yes it's possible but would I recommend it not really simply because these motors are not suitable for being used in this way I hope you've enjoyed this video Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.